Hey, it's Original Curly J, and today, today is monthly mental health check-in, episode eight. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're on eight episodes already, eight months of straight consistency, baby. Honestly, I'm just blown away that I've been able to keep up with everything, so have on the back yes thank you i'll take my prize but honestly i look forward to doing these every single month if you're new here which a lot of you are monthly mental health check-in is where we sit down in the end of every month and we do exactly that we check in on each other's mental health we talk about some things that we've learned in the past month and some things that we went through in the past month and we're kind of just helping each other out because we're all living this thing called life and life is not easy baby but for today's topic we are talking about being grateful there's a lot of people that lack being grateful and honestly it's something that i had lacked for a long period of time and even some days is harder than others but there is so much to be grateful for and we're gonna get into that today but before we do go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up if you're loving my monthly mental health check-ins thank you all so so much for six hundred subscribers i literally can't even fathom the fact that that is even reality right now and don't worry we are gonna keep climbing we are gonna keep climbing because i love you guys so so much and this is really my passion like we're gonna make this happen and don't forget to follow me on my socials those i'm struggling a little bit with growing on they're just a little harder but nonetheless we're gonna get there as well so follow me I would really appreciate it. Now, without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So the topic of being grateful is something not a lot of people actually pay attention to in their day-to-day -day thinking. I hear a lot of people complain about what they do not have. Why are you so focused on the things that you don't have when you should be appreciating exactly what you can and cannot do or the things that you do have in your life right now at this moment? Why is everyone's focus on the things that they want instead of the things that they already have. Trust me, I used to be the same way and honestly, I still am from time to time because we're human, we mess up sometimes. Consistency doesn't mean always thinking this way, always being on time, always making it happen, but it means on the days when you're less motivated that you actually make it happen or that you do have a little slip up one day, but then you get right back to the grind the next day. There are so many things I think a lot of us take for granted. Small things that you wouldn't even think to be grateful for. But you have to understand if you can't be content in what you already have, then how do you expect to be presented with something even better and to reach different heights and different goals? You gotta appreciate the baby steps before you just jump. And when things are not going as great as you would like them to be right now, you have to remember that it can always be worse. There are others going through worse than you. And that's not to compare yourself, but that is the truth. You have to remember that a minor inconvenience is not the end of the world. But like I said, I know that it can be hard to focus on being grateful and things to be grateful for in your everyday life. But that is why I'm gonna give you a little practice that you can do each and every night that can definitely help you along the way. And this practice is going to shift your mindset from what's wrong inside your life to actually what's going pretty well. But I want you to take a designated journal and a pretty colored pen if you want, make it fun. And at the end of every single day before you go to bed, I want you to take that journal out and I want you to write down three things that you are grateful for from that day. It could literally be anything. To the weather, to how the sun felt on your skin, for a commute that went really smoothly to your job and from your job. And I mean dig deep to the tiniest little things. Really just sit down in your bed and think about the things that happen inside the day and please write down three that you're grateful for. Yes, not one, not two, but three. Don't skip now, don't skimp. And don't you dare put down I'm grateful I woke up today every single day. Yes, I'm not telling you to not be grateful for waking up every single day, but come on now. That honestly becomes the default answer for everybody. And at a certain point in time, you're just saying it to say it. Are you actually grateful that you woke up today? Come on, does that have to be the one that you write down every single day? Were there not other things inside of your day that made you more grateful? I know the answer to that and you need to not write that down every single day. But this practice is gonna take some getting used to but what it's going to force you to do is it's going to force you to actually look at the good things that happen inside your day 
and stop focusing so much on the negative things. Because when you really take a step back and you try to look at the good things, you're gonna actually notice that there were a lot of good things inside of your day that you could be grateful for, even if it wasn't a great day. And the things that you write down, you actually have to believe. You have to believe that you're grateful for those things instead of just saying it just to say it. That's like trying to manifest and say, I'm going to have this really expensive car that I want and not actually believing that you already are gonna have that car, that you're really gonna have that car. It doesn't work that way. And trust me, the universe and God can sense that you're not actually grateful, okay? So let's mean it. Let's actually get to that mindset instead of just do it like it's a chore, instead of just feel that way like it's a job. But the greatest thing about this gratitude journal is that on days when you're not having such a great time, or it's just one of those days where things are a little rougher than usual, then you always have the ability to go back to this journal. It's gonna kind of help shift your mind back to feeling grateful even if in that moment you're feeling like everything's against you it'll just remind you of the little things that you should be grateful for and don't worry like i said i've got you covered i'm gonna give you guys some examples of things that i have found grateful that i have written down some of the things i've been grateful for is being able to go to the gym having access to a free gym, moving my body, not having any muscle aching or injuries, having a nice comfy bed to come to at the end of the night, the chance to wake up and have a slow morning to my day, having the ability to take my little sister to the park and play in such amazing, beautiful weather, having the ability to not only buy food, but to cook food, the ability to take a shower and actually wash my body. I work in customer service. So another thing I'm grateful for is when I have super sweet conversations with customers or my job wasn't too stressful and I had a pretty easy day or the fact that I even have a job while there are others that don't. As y'all can see there are so many things to truly be grateful for that I'm sure a lot of you haven't even really thought about being grateful for and that's okay that's how it works. Some people are glass half full some people are glass half empty. Yes that is a characteristic but you are able to shift your mind into a glass half full type of mentality by simply finding what you're grateful for and being content in what you already have or what you're already able to do instead of always focusing on the negative and how you wish you had something else. Once you start to live like that, it is easier and you'll find yourself more happy and at peace with your day to day. With that being said, we have reached the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video, give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below what you're grateful for right now at this moment. Maybe it's something as little as having a device to watch me on right now. And of course, I wanna let you guys know, like I do it at the end of every single monthly mental health check-in, you are all able to go to my socials and DM me if you need somebody to talk to, if you're going through it. Of course, I'm not perfect, but I can be here for you and I could try to point you in a direction of reason, especially if you're acting out of emotion. But I love you all so, so much. I hope you had a fantastic month of March and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!